Up. I think we are live. Hey, 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 hey. He sprung that upon me. <laughs> Here I was talking about what I'm going to do in the future. and Oh, goodness. He goes live. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working outside up until the wire. And this is the wire. Yeah, we took off running. The, the time change got me messed up. I had no idea it was 4 o'clock. <laughs> I, I looked at Jason and I said, should we stop? And he said, no, keep going. And I said, it's four o'clock. No idea, y'all. He said, oh. No idea. All right, so we almost messed up. It's March the 12th, four o'clock central time here in Alabama. How are you guys enjoying this time change? Now, I know not everybody participates, and I'm kind of jealous of yeah. those of you that don't. But uh, has it messed y'all up? It messes you up every time. It don't matter. When 20 it is, it just always messes you up. Always messes you up. Always I just wish that up. they could make it one way or another. One and way I prefer or the way it is now. Yeah. What, what was that noise? Well, I turned your camera off when I came in, but I guess it just now went off or something. Maybe so. I probably cut it on, not off. <laughs> it <was, laughs> it I mean, made a noise. Jason asked me, will you video something before you come home? And I said, do you want me to just use my phone? He said, no, you can use that camera. I said, I don't know how to use that camera. <laughs> so I videoed oh. with my phone and I came on home. That's Chestnut Hill. Hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing? It is warm outside. It is feeling like pure springtime. And this day in 1993, there was the blizzard of the century. Was it on this day? Yes. Really? Can you believe that? I had no wow. idea it was in March. When yeah, I knew it was in March. Well, I knew it was in March. But I couldn't remember that part. Of I didn't it. know it was this day. It was this day in 1993. We had I, it showed the map that they showed back then. It showed six to 16 inches of snow, which is unheard of. Yeah. If we get here, if we get quarter six of an tenths, inch. yeah, it's a big deal. So yeah. Wow. Yep, yep. Been long time ago. Long time ago. I, I didn't see who said it. it. Went by so fast, but it's the animals don't understand why we do a time change. They do not. No. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, I just thought of something. What? We changed things around today. Yeah. Because we were working on a project, right. and boy, we really messed things up. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about that. Huh. Yeah, we spring forward in Alabama, so that means everybody lost an hour of sleep. Nick said that he was driving, and Zoe was Rhett age in 1993. Rhett's age. Oh. <laughs> well, Nick is our age then, because no. I was I was 16 then. Mm -hmm. I think so. But I didn't drive in this. Yeah, I was 16. I didn't drive in the snow either. I was 16. A buddy of mine did. He had a four-wheel drive. I didn't have a four-wheel drive. But that was crazy. I remember it. Oh, I went driving with somebody in a Honda Accord. Not mm. smart. Not smart. Anyway. Not smart at all. So, uh, what you got? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all... All Are right, you so ready for this? we're just going to jump right into this. We're just going to jump right into it. I ask him what he's got, and he shows me a picture. So, um, don't ask what day it was. On our on our farm stand, we got we got cameras over there, and so the, the evening, I am up here, and Clack said he got stuck in the snow. He was sixteen. Um. I was up here editing Brooks' video. I would say, let's see what time it was. Um, I cut it off. I cut it off the time on it. It was, hang on, I can see here. Oh, it's military time or 24 hour time. Uh, so that is, I think it was about seven, seven o'clock, 7 p.m. Jason had my phone because he was up here editing my video. Yeah. So all I had was my watch on. So when something triggers the cameras to come on, I get an alert. And I always look. 
and for it to go off at night, um, we do have customers that come at night, believe it or not. Yeah, we had somebody at, what, 10.30 the other 10 night? 10.30 the other night. That bought eggs. Yep. And somebody, anyways, or or I'll see a cat cross the driveway. I'll, it's always curious to me. Stray cats. It's stray cats. At nighttime, what what makes the thing? Bugs will make it go off, too. So, Sometimes, I'm up here. if my mama gets a notion that she may have had a package that that has been delivered and yes. we may not have gotten those packages sometimes she'll make it go off. she'll make it go off going up there at night well i got one that's that is that is directly on the stand itself and so it goes off and i automatically it's just a habit I automatically look to see and um we need to know when we sell eggs so we know to replenish exactly so it goes off and what i'm about to show you guys is going to shock you what we caught on our camera now it threw me back for a little bit when i saw it when i saw it i was like what in the world okay wait a minute <laughs> if it threw him back and he's looking at it on the phone <laughs> He sends me the picture, and all I have is my watch. Yeah, I had your phone. <laughs> and so, if y'all don't know how to how an Apple Watch works, oh. it's a small screen. And so, when you send a picture, it shows up on this small screen. If you're looking at it on the phone, you still look at it like this because of what you're about to see. All right. So, got three images. Y'all, yeah, well, I got two. One of them, you really wasn't that good. So these two, uh, these two will be fine. Y'all sit down, put your drink down, because what I'm about to show you. I don't even know if they can. I mean, so, I'm telling you, <laughs> you just can't tell what it is. So, this is the first image I get right here. Now, <laughs> so we got Bigfoot caught on my camera, it looks like. Um, So, this is image number one right here. Okay. And here, here it is zoomed out right here. All so right. Jason sends me this picture. <laughs> and I'm looking at my watch, and y'all know that I, I can't see your comments. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm like, this? I'm trying. She's Siri thinks I'm talking to her, but yeah. I'm trying to figure out what, what that is. And I had no way to message Jason because he had my phone. Yeah. So I'm like, what is what is he sending me this for? And what is it? So this is image number two. Now, we're very rural. Yeah. We're, 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 this is a rural community. We're, now, we got neighbors. Um, we got neighbors, but we're still rural. So, this is um, image number two. I'm fixing to show. This one's really close here now, right here. That's this three. Is, this is image number two that I'm showing. Three. Now. You've already shown them two. I, I've already shown them one. One was zoomed in and out. It's the same image. Oh, okay. So this is image number two right here. Y'all see this? So this is Bigfoot right here. We caught Bigfoot at my at my stand. So I I'm gonna be honest with y'all. My first thought was when I saw this is somebody is at my farm stand and they're fixing to steal my eggs with a mask on. That that's my first thing. So I heard the dogs barking. And I kept looking, and then I saw on the next image, the eggs were still there, and they were gone. The person, the Bigfoot was gone. Bigfoot was gone. Uh, eggs, every, everything was still there, so they didn't take anything. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? So Look, Jason, it just went off then. Let's see. <laughs> it goes off. It sound, I think Look, it was Mama. See? Oh, okay. See? the uh, FedEx. The FedEx truck is here right now. <laughs> so, anyways... He comes downstairs and he comes in the bedroom. I'm laying down and he says, did you see that? And I said, I saw something. What was it? He hands me my phone where he has texted me the pictures. And I look at it and I said, Jason, what in the world? <laughs> and he said, it's Bigfoot. And I thought Jason was trying to play a joke on me. I was like, where'd you get that from? So it's the camera, the camera. So not only is it a mask, y'all. This is a full, look at this. We got hands. We got, we got, look here. This is, this is the real 
thing right here. This isn't just a mask. It's the whole. This is the whole works right here. Y'all see this right there? <laughs> this is. It does look like an oompa loompa in this picture. It, it kind of really does. does. It does. That was pretty funny. Hey, am I looking like one today? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so then, after I realized, number one, I was like, no way somebody is going to dress up in a gorilla suit and, and, and steal eggs. They're just, nobody's going to go to that extreme to, <laughs> to steal eggs. So, so I'm like, Jason, what else would somebody <laughs> be doing up there like that? <laughs> so I'm like, somebody's got a sense of humor. So I'm thinking, and then I'm like, you know what? I started thinking, and I told Brooke, I said, now, you see this picture, don't you? She said, yeah. I said, that's either one or two things. She, I, she said, what? I said, this is a kid or it's a female. And she said, hi in the world. How in the world do you know that? I said, look how short they are. And I'm in the midst of work watching a series on TV <laughs> that has some crime stuff in it. And I, my wheels start turning. I'm thinking to myself, maybe Jason's in the wrong profession. <laughs> he realizes that this person is either short or a, fem or a kid or a female. Right. And, and he's, I mean, he's really paying attention because I wouldn't have thought to look at that sort of thing. And I said, how do you know that? And he said, because, look, earlier today, and he shows me a picture. He says, this was a lady that came and bought eggs. Right. And look at where her head That's touches. Right. Exactly. And I said, okay. And he said, now look at Bigfoot. And this is a this is a man. See? Let's see the difference. Let's see how tall he is. And so I'm like, so we got ourselves a little foot. A little foot. We got ourselves a little foot. We don't have... We don't have a big foot. We got a little foot. And so I'm like, and I'm like, definitely somebody has got a sense of humor. And this is pretty funny. And if you notice, they're posing. They're kind of posing. They look at they, they the look, camera. They, <laughs> they know where the camera is. <laughs> and they're posing. It could have been a baby Bigfoot. Yeah, a baby Bigfoot. Could have been a baby Bigfoot. <laughs> so I'm like. Well, whoever it is, got us. That's right. Got us. Because this 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 was pretty funny. So you start messaging some of your friends around here. That's right. And letting them know what's going on. And then of course I had I had to send it to to Lester and Daniel and Dutch. Yeah. Sean. Right. And show them what's going on here. And of course. They all like, what in the world? What in the world is going on at your place? Right. And I'm like, I, I had no idea what's going on. At the, I have no idea. I said, but somebody's got a sense of humor. And so I go, you know what? Let me go double check and make sure they didn't take anything, even though I felt pretty good they did, because I could see the item still up there and I didn't see anything missing. He didn't tell me what he was doing, but about that time, <laughs> I heard the side by side crank up and the front door shut. Yeah. And I thought, what is he doing? And maybe he thinks that somebody's trying to get us or something because he wants to go make sure, you know, everything's okay. He comes back in and he tells me that everything's there, just like what he thought. And he didn't know who it was or what they could have been doing. Yeah. I mean, y'all can, you can definitely just looking at the camera smiling. Y'all see it smiling at us. <laughs> so. So you start messaging some of your friends and telling them what's going on. Yeah, I mean, my friends, they're loyal. They're very reliable. And the first one that I reached out to was, was Catherine. <laughs> at G&G. And, G &G. Yeah. and I said, I know it was you. <laughs> and she said, what are you talking about? And I said, where are you? And she immediately said, do you, do you need me? I'm in the bed. Because that's just how good of a person she is. Yeah. She would literally get up out of the bed and come help me if I needed help. Yeah. And I said, I said, I got to show you something. And she said, what is it? And I sent her the picture and she just sent back laughing faces. Yeah. Yep. And so at, in the meantime, you were messaging Nick. I messed it. Yep. I sent Nick a message at, at Chestnut, Chestnut Hill. Hills. And let me see what his reply was. I, he was like, what in the world? I think that's what he said. What in the world? Is that 
I think, I think that's what Nick told me. And um, you probably had a lot of texts that see him. I said, I just caught Bigfoot at the farm stand. And Nick said, what in the world? <laughs> and she said, he said, did you put Brooke in a costume for a video? And I thought well, that would be a good idea. <laughs> and I said, no, no, no. I said, I have no clue who it is. And that's what I said. No clue who it is. And then Nick said, well, that's creepy. And it was. I mean, your mind starts racing. But then, you know, I was fairly confident it was harmless. I really would felt pretty sure it was harmless. And it wasn't shortly after that. I can't go back in my text. Catherine, I text way <laughs> too much for me to find the reply. I'm on my way back from the farm stand in the side-by-side -side after texting Nick. And Nick says, we haven't even made it home yet, and Catherine is singing like a canary. <laughs> so that was Miss Catherine yeah. at G&G &G Farm. She got her a uh, gorilla suit. Well, it's Littlefoot. Littlefoot. Got her a Littlefoot suit and played, us, played a little joke on us with the help of Nick and Zoe at Chestnut Hill Farm Stand. They took her over here. There, here's the funny part. So Catherine knew we had a camera at the farm stand. And she didn't recall telling me this, but I remember for some reason because it, it just stuck in my head. She told me that um, she had something that that she had to get a picture of at the farm stand. And I just laughed. I didn't, I, I, this was several weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, that still stuck in my head. I thought, hmm. But had she not told me that she had something she wanted to take a picture of at the farm stand, she would not have been my first <laughs> thought. Uh. The funny thing is, is that her husband, when she first got the suit... <laughs> brought her over here okay she doesn't drive well at night so oh, her husband goodness. drove her over here and she walked around the farm stand walked around the property up in the front in the little foot suit <laughs> and never got a text from me and so she said that she, she didn't knew, hit the camera she knew the camera didn't pick it up because if it did i would have messaged her and so she said oh well so she yeah. had came back over here the morning of the incident to drop something off to me so she could check the place out <laughs> and see exactly where that camera was. She was scoping it out. She was scoping it out. And I had no clue. No I clue. had no clue what she was doing. I saw a lot of people say it was Ryan. Well, That's Ryan crossed my mind. And I sent Ryan a text. And I told him, I said, I just caught Bigfoot at my farm stand. And then Ryan sent me back a bunch of laughing faces and said, I wonder who that is. I said, I'm not for sure. And he said, well, whoever it is has a great sense of humor. And I sure wish I had a thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought of Ryan too, but it was, you know, 730 at night. Yeah. And I think it was a Sunday night if I'm not mistaken. No, it wasn't. It was Saturday night. It was Saturday night because my video came out on Sunday. Yeah. Right? Yep. And I thought, well, what would he be doing in this rural area an hour from home on a Saturday night? Plus, he'd have to be on his knees in yeah, that picture. Yeah, Ryan's a tall Ryan's guy. a tall fella. He is. He is a tall fella. So that he'd have to have been squatting down on his knees. So I, 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 I'm fairly confident it wasn't Ryan. I, I knew it had to be a kid or a uh, or, or or a lady. And you know, I honestly thought it was a kid. I really did. I thought I thought a kid. This sounds like something we would have done. Uh, just, I don't know. I just thought it was a kid having fun and playing a joke on us. Well, but it, it was, was, it was a kid. It was a kid, a kid it at was heart. Three of them. It was kids at heart. <laughs> we got a big kick out of it. And, oh and, man! And thought it was hilarious that, uh, well, at first, I mean, it's a, a good bit of time went by while Jason and I were trying to figure out who could have done this. It, it, it wasn't like it was instant. I would say it was a good 30, 45 minutes. Maybe longer than that before we actually knew who it was. Yeah, Catherine was going to rush right over. She see, said, I'm in the bed. It was 7 o'clock. Let me see here. I'm going to see actually how long it was. That was at 7 o'clock, basically, when 
We got the, the text. And then 7.43 was when Nick said Catherine was singing like a canary. So basically 45 minutes. Can y'all imagine the cars driving by that saw? <laughs> well, first of all, the first time when Catherine was looking oh, for the goodness. camera, Bigfoot walked in, a little foot walking around. Yeah. And then this time, I'm sure somebody saw her this time. I can't imagine if somebody drove by the first time and she's walking around oh, trying it, to find the camera. Yeah. I can't imagine. <laughs> it could have not ended well. Especially around here. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> somebody would want to mount it. <laughs> yes. That's exactly right. <laughs> Hanging on the oh, wall. Oh, goodness. Got a trophy. Oh, goodness gracious. But we got a big kick out of yeah. it. Yeah. Was, it was quite humorous. and uh, It was. It was very, very funny. Very um, funny. Uh, Jason went and showed it to Mary Carl. She was in a room, and y'all would have, it could have shook the house with her laughing. Mary Carl she, was crying. She was laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and this is before we knew who it was. Yeah, it was before yeah, we knew who it was. This is before we knew who it was. So it, it was fun. I'm, it was, I don't know, it still tickles me. Tickles like me. we thought we were going to have to give you a call. Buddy. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> I know it. Oh, that's funny. Oh, goodness gracious. But that was our weekend. <laughs> yep. That was the excitement of the weekend anyway. <laughs> oh, me. Oh. oh, that was fun. And if you guys don't don't follow them, y'all go check them out. That's G&G Farm and Chestnut Hill Farm Stand. They're everywhere. They're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Fun everywhere. folks that you Great would folks. want to surround yourself with. Fun, folks. I am glad I saw a lot of people say Lester. I would love Lester, us to be really, really close together, but ooh, I think we would get in some trouble. You think? I think so. I really do think we would get in some trouble. You are probably right. <laughs> it would be fun. And Littlefoot could be in on it too. <laughs> she sure could. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, that was fun. You know, we're going to have to come up with some way to pay her back. Yeah, I have to come up with something. I don't know what Except it is. Except that's going to be in the back of her mind. It will. It, it, it will be when she least expects it. Yeah. All three of them. That's right. All three of them. Yeah. We have to get all three of them. Yeah, they, she had a driver in Nick <laughs> and a partner in Zoe. So oh, me. Y'all help us <sighs> come up with something. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's anyways, funny. but that was awesome. We had a great time. Thought it was great. We did. Really did. All right. So yesterday was my big day. I had a doctor's appointment. Yes. I went and saw the hematologist up in Birmingham. And first, I must tell y'all that my appointment was at 9 o'clock. And so I was told to be there at 8 o'clock for blood work an hour ahead of time. And so me Carl went with me. We got up super early, left out of here because it's a little more than an hour to get there and plus traffic. And uh, I get there and I tell the lady at the desk that I'm here for lab work. They told me to be here an hour ahead of time. And she says that, uh, no, I don't have you down for lab work. Um, maybe they're going to do it afterwards. Well, that's okay. At least I'm here. At least I'm going to be seen by the doctor, right? So 9.20 comes around. We'd been sitting there for an hour and 20 minutes, which wasn't too bad. Yeah. My point was at 9 and I right, saw it right. at 9.20. And y'all, I'm talking about excellent doctor, great bedside manner, just uh, very willing to get to the root of the problem and ask me tons of questions. And uh, then he tells me that he did not do blood work ahead of time because he really wanted to talk to me first. And he knew, you know, what the other, what the primary care doctor had said, but he wanted to hear from me and see what needed to be tested for in his opinion, because he didn't want to stick me twice. Right. And that's what would have happened. Yeah. You know, after he talked to me, he didn't right. stick me again because something else would have came to mind. So uh, he goes over all this um, information and he tells me that if he, he thinks that my platelets are elevated from an autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. And he said that if he was teaching a class and he wanted to teach people about an autoimmune disease, he would get me to come to the front of the class, tell my symptoms in order for the class to understand what an autoimmune disease is. Yep. So 
from his point of view, without blood work being back yet, he thinks that it's all related to an underlying cause of an autoimmune issue. Um, he did go the extra mile to do some testing for things outside of the box that could be, but he doesn't think. Right. And um, so I go and I have my, my lab work done afterwards and it was on a, a different area of the hospital. And so I sit down in my chair and the lady asks me, you know, which arm, I'm like, it doesn't matter. And she says, um, so she's got her tubes lined up there or whatever. She says, have you ever had this much blood work done? And I said, well, I'm sure I have. And we're just carrying on conversation. So she starts and she's done about six of them. And about that time, she reaches over on the other side and she grabs more vials and puts them with the ones she already had there. And I said, wait a minute. You asked me how many, have I ever had this much blood work done? I said, how many tubes is it? She said, I don't know. Let's count them. So she's continuously oh you know, plugging away. 20 vials of blood. 20. 20 vials oh, of blood me. and a stool sample. Mm -hmm. So she wanted me to bring that back. And um, I could not believe it. I said to myself, I said, I started not to eat breakfast this morning because we left out so early. But I decided it may be in my best interest to go ahead and do so because I didn't know how long I'd be, you know, here at the hospital. Right. She said, honey, I am so glad you did. <laughs> because she kept telling me before that. If you feel faint or if you feel like you're going to pass out, just you just let me know. Let me know. She kept looking at me and I was like, <laughs> I never felt funny or right, anything, right. which I was thankful for. But uh, Jason was all apologetic. He was like, I should have went with you. I said, no, you shouldn't have. It's it's not anything that you needed to be here for. He had things to take care of it here at the farm and uh, the blood work's taken care of. So we should have some results from all 20 vials. It's not That's 20 crazy. tests. It's more than 20 tests. Mm -hmm. Some of the mm -hmm. vials were used more than once. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm here. To, I think, I think, in my opinion, he's getting a head start on some of the rheumatologist blood work. Might be. Because he knows I have an appointment in April. Mm -hmm. And I think that from looking at what he tested for, some of those things could be useful to them. And, and they'll already have those results. That'd be good. <clears throat> That would be great. Especially since they're in the same clinic. Yeah. They're all going to, you know, they're, they're out to help each other. Yeah. Yep. But excellent, excellent doctor. And I really feel like somehow, some way we're going to get to the bottom of this. I think so. I really do. I, I, think so. I felt much more positive after I left there. Not even, I mean, of course I didn't come out with the result, but just the, the peace of mind knowing that everything that could possibly be done is being done. I agree. So I agree. That's that's where we that's where we were. And I got an ice cream cone afterwards. <laughs> you deserved one. Well, I, <laughs> Catherine wanted me to tell her as soon as I got finished with the appointment, what was said. So I told her and she said, you know what? She said, you've had a rough day. I think you ought to stop on the way back and get you a crumble cookie. Well, I just loved her text. I didn't yeah. say anything else. I mean, Carl was with me. She had told me. The day before, mm -hmm. Mama, I might go with you because I've been craving Jimmy's ice cream. Oh. And I said, okay. I said, Mary Carl, I said, my appointment is at 9 o'clock in the morning. I said, I'm probably going to be out of there by 10 o'clock. She said, well, let's look and see what time they open. They didn't open until lunch. Yeah. So we were under the understanding that Jimmy's ice cream was out of the question. Okay. But it just so happened that we ate lunch after, after the appointment and after doing the blood work and all that. Genius and we had over. time to go to Jeannie's. Well, good. Good for you. Now, was this, this would have been after Catherine pranked you when she told you. Oh, yeah. You. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. We're still friends. <laughs> oh, goodness. She sent me a message that oh, night, goodness. that evening. She said, yep. good night, my friend. I mm. hope we're still, uh, I, ho I hope you're not too mad at me or yeah. something. It was yeah. kind of funny. Hope no hard feelings. It was kind of funny. But yeah, we, uh, Mary Carl and I, she tried something new. What'd she get? Rainbow yogurt or I don't know. She gets lavender wildberry every time. Yes. And y'all, that's such a strange flavor for a picky kid because it's really pungent. It's really a overpowering lavender flavor. <clears throat> lavender to me is something that 
either you either like it or you hate it. I don't think there's in between. Kind of like cilantro. Yeah. I think I'm not cilantro. eating cilantro ice cream, even though I eat, I like cilantro. Yeah. I'm not, I can't eat cilantro. Ooh, no. Mm -mm. I'm not, I'm not, I, lavender is one of my favorite smells, flowers and smells in the world. Now we have a hard time growing your common lavenders, but we can grow Spanish lavender here. And <clears throat> I do plan on one day putting Spanish lavender on our property, but I don't like eating it whatsoever. You don't like her ice cream? I, I really don't care for it. I You've tried it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so this was the deal. Yeah. The gentleman that was working behind the counter was, I mean, this was like the best day ever as far as surrounded by people. Everybody we talked to that day was super nice. Just no bad experiences anywhere. Mm -hmm. The guy behind the counter <clears throat> at the ice cream store, um, I said, well, she already knows what she wants. And he said, well, can I get you to try this one? Mm -hmm. Usually that's a no-no. Yeah, no. And Carl's not going to try no. anything. <laughs> but he approached it, and I guess I did turn the you camera on. You turned the on. camera on. It's been recording the whole time. Yeah, it's okay. It must have been off. I don't know. Anyway, so he they use like real spoons <clears throat> in this ice cream shop, metal spoons that are like this. And he gives her a scoop of rainbow. It was something rainbow, something yogurt. I can't believe she tried something different. Jason, she got it. She liked it. But she got a scoop of wildberry lavender. Is that what it's called? Yes, something like that. And a scoop of the rainbow. Yeah. But she ate more of the rainbow. Wow. She I can't believe she tried. She, she's getting a little, I mean, a little adventurous. I think it was just because it was somebody different. If it had been me offering it, there would have been no chance. Yeah. You know that. I know that. So I had powdered jelly donut. Oh, was it good? It didn't knock my socks off, okay. but you get two flavors <laughs> right, in, right. in one little cone because the scoops are not that big. They just give you, their, their flavors are so good that you can't just, you can't just do one. Yeah. And the other one was like butter, butter something, butterfinger something. Anyway, it was new. That's good. The, um, oh, I wish I could remember what it was called. I tried it. He, he offered me a sample of it. I said, I want to try what's new because that's what I always get is what's new. And this one, y'all, oh, I wish I could remember what it was. I know that it had some um, cayenne pepper in it. Hmm. Huh. And you didn't taste the heat until the end. Yeah. It was orange at the beginning. And I said, I like it, but I couldn't eat a whole scoop of it. And he said, nobody does. Really? He said, everybody that tries it, that's all they want is a taste of it. Be too much. It'd be too much. Huh. So I don't think they'll offer that one anymore because there was a lot of it missing, but I'm sure it was from just tasting. I wish I could remember what it was called. Hmm. Some kind of hmm. citrus <laughs> something. It was interesting. But they're the kind of ice cream place that the cone's just as good as the ice cream. Yeah, it is. Like, if you don't eat the cone, if you normally throw the cone away, you like the cone. Yeah. Some people are saying, where is this? Well, uh, it's called J-E-N-I-S ice yeah. cream. And uh, just pull up their website. They've got locations all over the place. It's really good. And it's odd flavors. It's yeah. something that you won't get anywhere else. It is. It's uh, very, very good. Very good. Somebody asked, did you tell the doctor about your battery tongue? Oh, you yes, did. absolutely. Did. Yep. Um, I did. did. <clears throat> and I don't know if I've told you guys this much, but I have uh, a sensation with my my scalp where I have different tender spots. And it's not the same. Tomorrow won't be the same tender spots as it is today. So uh, I told him about that and he he did some examining and he just, um, I, I asked him, I said, well, my primary care doctor gave me a list of five things in order of what she thought most likely was. Would you be willing to do that? And he said, well, I'm not a rheumatologist, but, and I said, okay. He said, what are you thinking? And I told him, I said, I'm thinking PMR, which is polyrheumatic, polymyalgia rheumatica. Mm-hmm. And he said it very well could be that. So I think we were on the same page. And the reason I think that is because of my scalp tenderness. Yeah. And my my body pain is pretty severe. It's not um, 
it's not like something you could take a Tylenol yep. for and, and, and get over. It's not like that kind of pain. It's just can be to where you got to get in the bed with it. Hmm. But enough about that. Enough about that. Enough about that. Yeah, my battery tongue, he didn't have an answer for. I saw a question that I wanted to answer. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. You know, somebody said they had some old flower seeds. They were about three years old. It would, could you still plant them? Uh, you could. And it's going to be like a 50-50 thing. Uh, it's not It's not probably going to be as good as fresh new seeds, but you still may get some to come up. So that's um, old seeds are always a gamble. Do y'all remember the plot that we planted for the bees that was in the pasture kind of uh, where Moody and Mildred will be? Yeah. We tilled up that area. We just took some old seeds that we had and we had been holding on to them and we put them there and we weren't going to cry about it if they didn't come up. But if they did, that was good. And it was, that was a good 50-50. Yeah, it I was. Mean, there was a lot of them that didn't come up, but there was a lot of them that did. So 50-50 um, on that. And the, uh, the older they get, that that's going to start dropping. So I would so. plan on with the impression that they may not come up. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyways, I saw that. I wanted to answer that. Okay. Well, we're just all over the place. We are we? all over the place. Dave. Bigfoot got it. Littlefoot got us all messed up. She sure did. <laughs> Littlefoot's a she. Littlefoot got us all messed up. That's right. Yeah. I thought of something <clears throat> funny the other day and I, um, Actually, the sun was shining bright, and, mm -hmm. you know, started thinking about getting sun on my face and uh, needing to put some sunscreen on. And I got tickled because when you and I got married, yeah, that day, that morning of, it was, of course, a Saturday. We got married at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, I had been going to the tanning bed, which I know is a terrible thing, and I would not do it now. No, but, but you know what? Back then... You know, back then, the, the, they told us that the tanning beds were safe. Well, they tell you a lot of things. And, of course, back then in the early 90s, we all thought that. Early nine, or well, in the 90s, like, this was 90 and early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. So That's this was the year us. 2000. Yeah. And my dress was um, like a like a tank. Yeah. With, at the top so you could see my arms and all up here and I wanted to be nice and brown and beautiful for the wedding and so my last tanning appointment before our wedding was that morning at like 10 o'clock and I went and um the the lady knew it was my wedding day and she said hey I got a new product in you want to try it and I was like sure what is it and she said here she said you don't even have to buy it it's your wedding day just try it out I said mm -hmm. okay so, I mean, I'd used tanning products before to enhance that, you know, glow right, right, or whatever. Right, 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 I get in there, I slather myself all up, and I get in the tanning bed, and I get out. And, y'all, I felt like I was on fire when I got out, <laughs> which, uh, you know, happened all the time. But I had built myself up to where yeah, I could yeah. lay the maximum 30 yeah. minutes. You know, you start and you lay <laughs> five minutes or whatever. And then, so I built myself up. Mm. I'm 30 minutes in, I got this new lotion on. And I get out, and and I'm on fire. But I just all I did was look in the mirror, and I saw I was a little bit red. But I, I, you know, I went on home, and I didn't live far from where the tanning bed was. So, y'all, I get home, and I look in the big mirror, and I just about fell out. I look like a real oompa loompa. You was red. I was red. <laughs> And you're that, getting married. And I'm getting married that day. <laughs> <clears throat> and of oh, course, man. my friends and my mama are like, it's not that bad. Yep. It's not, you don't look that red. It's not that bad. And I was like, <laughs> I can see how red I am. <laughs> and I had no clue. It, no. I had no clue what was going on. You can't see the groom before the wedding. Yeah. And. And I, I couldn't even talk to Jason to get his opinion on if I was red or not. But luckily, as hours went on, because this was 10 o'clock in the morning, by 2 o'clock, I had toned down enough <laughs> to where I just looked like I'd been in the sun for a few days. I didn't look so, so oh, red goodness. as I did when I first came out of it. Y'all, I could have 
if, if I was ever going to have a heart attack, it would have been that day. Because when I got home and I looked in the mirror and I saw I was as red as the Texas garden guy's hat, <laughs> I just about had a come apart. And I know when I got out of that tanning bed and I went and gave that product back to that lady, I know she thought, what have I, I done, done to her? <laughs> On her wedding day. On her wedding day, but she didn't say anything. She was just oh, like, my goodness. I hope everything goes well. Oh, goodness. I just turned you into a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, goodness, y'all. I'm telling you, I just about fell out. I could not believe it. Yeah. And it probably doesn't do everybody like that. It, it did you. But it did me. It, it obviously brought some sales to the top. I remember it? you telling me afterwards. And yeah. Um, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad, bad. I was so nervous. Luckily, it did go away some before. But it was an enhancer. So yeah. I guess it did its job. But what if I'd been getting married at 11 o'clock? Right. I would have been a tomato. You would have been a tomato. Oh, y'all. You would have been a tomato. Yeah, I thought about that. And I said, oh, my gracious, I hadn't thought about that in a minute. Isn't it funny how things get you so worked up? Like this was in 2000. That was 24 years ago. Yeah. And you think it's the end of the earth. Yeah. End of the world. Yep. And here we are 24 years later, even 24 hours later, yep. it was not a big deal. It's not. It was over. <laughs> it was done. Oh, So that just tells me to, to, for us to realize, you know, if it's not, if it's not going to kill something or, you know, hurt no. something, forget about it. That's right. Life goes on. That's right. Even if you are a tomato on your wedding day. <laughs> oh, somebody want to know, can we show a wedding day? I don't know if I got a wedding day. Oh, I do on you my Facebook. Play? I do on Facebook, but I don't know if I got one saved. I got little foot right there. Staring <laughs> little at me, foot. Staring at me. Let me see if it comes up. Oh, there we are. Right there. Is that us? I thought it was to the right. No, we got all these other people. There we, there we are. Are, are y'all ready? Oh, goodness. I don't even look red. You don't even look red in that picture at all. I look tan. <laughs> Y'all see why I wanted to be tan? My <laughs> dress was all. Oh. oh, we were just babies. We were just babies. I was 24 and Jason was 25. Look at there. They're beautiful. You know, cake. that cake is still pretty. It is. It really is. You know, there's cakes are so trendy. I know there's trends and all, but that cake is still pretty. Sometimes they look dated. That's right. It was, it was pretty. But it was pretty. Our pictures look like they were from the 1970s, so. Which is cool. Now. Right there. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Seems like yesterday. It does. And um, so Jason and I had a limo to pick us up at the church and That's take us right. to the reception. And we knew where the reception was. It was an old antebellum home. Mm -hmm. So when we left the church... I mean, we knew how to get there, everything. We're looking out the window, and we're like, he's going the wrong way. Do you remember that? I remember that. He's going the wrong way. And Jason and I didn't say anything because, you know, we, we didn't know what to say. Yeah. He couldn't have heard us anyway. Right. Probably. No, no, he probably couldn't have. But what he was doing was he went all the way around so he could let us out on the side right that, that he we knew were, what he was doing he knew what he was doing <laughs> i'm glad we didn't say nothing to him i do i'm glad too <laughs> oh goodness yeah i'm glad we didn't say nothing to him. thankful we're not outspoken people because we probably would have got let out right there <laughs> and you're probably right <laughs> oh goodness Yo, oh, man you know what else i remember what it's all that beautiful food there and i don't think i had a single bite I don't remember eating anything. We were too busy shaking hands. That's right. Um, <clears throat> actually, I didn't want a big. I didn't want a wedding. Yeah, you didn't. I thought to myself, and this was back during a time where all of our friends were getting married. They you were. Know, yep. They're all ha we're at, we're going to a wedding like every weekend because it's just you know it's just wedding time. That's right. But I personally did not want a wedding. I said, you know what. I don't know what's wrong with going to the courthouse. I don't have any problem. As long as we're married, I don't care how we do it. Right. But 
this was when my daddy was very sick. He was had cancer and he was not feeling the best. And my mama and daddy wanted me to have a wedding. Mm -hmm. And so basically I did it for them. Um, and now thinking back on it, I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I, I wouldn't change it for anything. I mean, you know, my thoughts were, it is crazy to spend money to have a wedding <laughs> when we could put that money away towards the house, towards the something. house, or you know, <laughs> towards some dogs or yeah. <laughs> some goats in the future. Right. But that was my thoughts. Is it? It, it was just a waste to me because I didn't care anything about it. Right. So this was June the third, and um, my daddy was sick, but he we didn't know how bad he we didn't was. know how bad he hit it. Very, very. He was very, very yellow well. because at this time his cancer had traveled to his liver. Uh, liver. Mm -hmm. um, very, very yellow in color mm -hmm. and very thin mm -hmm. compared. Mm -hmm. But we didn't even realize that no, because we saw him every. We day. saw him every day. It was kind of a gradual thing, so we didn't we didn't see it. But if you hadn't seen him in a while, that's then, right. Yeah. So the wedding happened, and my family or his family, my daddy's family, uh -huh. our family was there and they came from all over the place. He hasn't seen most of these people in a very long time. Right. And it was it was almost like a family reunion that needed to happen. Yeah, I agree. It, it was enabled perfect. him to see people he hasn't seen mm -hmm. in many years. So, you know, while the wedding was for us, mm -hmm. it was just as much for my yes, parents. I agree. Um, <clears throat> it just it just happened for the right reasons because we went on our honeymoon, went to Disney World, of all places, because it's somewhere that Jason and I both just felt happy. Well, this shows y'all how we are. So we could have went anywhere because all of our friends were going to Jamaica or the Bahamas or all these places and would just, you know, sit around and relax. We, we didn't want to sit around and relax. We're not sit around and relax people. We want to go and do. So that's why we chose Disney World that's because right. we knew we would enjoy moving Activities. and going and walking and, and doing stuff versus sitting on the beach with a pina colada. We just know that's not, that's not us. That's right. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> we so got to go. <laughs> we drove um, from Selma. Yes. Alabama to Orlando, which you and I had both done previously with our families. Uh -huh. And um, we knew it was a long trip. We did. But we decided to leave that day after the wedding. Yes. After the wedding, we left and went straight to Disney World, which mm -hmm. was what, a nine hour drive? Probably so. And we left at what, three o'clock in the afternoon? I tell you, so, of course, no GPS back then. No. So we had our big Atlas big one i mean it took up half the car when we opened it up and so <laughs> we thought we were halfway this is true we're like okay we're gonna stop we're halfway we're gonna stop and get us a hotel and so we did <laughs> so we woke up next morning and drove and we were like 45 minutes <laughs> from Disney. 45 minutes y'all literally we, we thought we were halfway <laughs> we cranked the car up and we were like there so <laughs> We had an extra day. We were like, we could have drove the whole way. We could have drove the whole way. <laughs> but looking at the oh, map, it man. looked like it was halfway. Yeah. Uh, we thought we were halfway. We thought we were halfway. We definitely thought we were halfway. And then, you know, what I remember on going down there is that all the tolls we had, we had to go through all these tolls and pay the money. Right. Go to the tolls and pay money. And that's back then when you had to actually stop and put the money right. in and see the person. Right. Give them the money. No debit cards. No debit cards. And so we were paying the tolls, tolls. So when we left Disney, we got our <laughs> map out. We got our big map out. We get into that Orlando traffic and we freak out. And we can't read them. We have no idea where you are. We, we were, oh, we goodness. had our first fuss as a married we're couple. We're trying to figure things out on this map. And y'all know what I'm talking about, those atlases. I mean, they're huge. And they're like, we're trying to figure this thing out. And then, of course, it's got the map of Florida. And then it says, see that square. And you flip it over and it's got Orlando. And Jason drove back then. Yes. This was before we swapped places. <laughs> y'all, so we get out of Orlando some kind of way and get the heading back totally different way that we came in totally different way we came in we did not 
hit a single toll on the way out. I have no idea how he did this. And we ended up in Montgomery is how we came yeah, out. We came back a totally different way. <laughs> but I was so grateful that we were heading, got out of Orlando and we were heading in the right direction. That's right. Um, we were both sick because this was oh that's right because there was a big forest fire this was in the year 2000 there was yep. a big fire yeah um we had to end our honeymoon early yes we we ended it two days early we did because we were at downtown disney the night that this all happened the fires it was like the smoke had all settled in to where we were and the next morning jason and i woke up and we were so sick that we couldn't stay you couldn't stay it, it, was, it was the smoke was so bad at disney that it was uh, it just, he just, you, it was, it was awful. It was, it awful. was really, you couldn't see the forest fires. No, but you could definitely see. And <laughs> this is also uh, funny to me now is that I booked that Disney trip through a local travel agency. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yes, I used a travel agency. I didn't know that. Because in year two thousand, you know, the internet was just a baby. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we were still. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We were just, I mean, the internet was just, a plus that was right after the, uh, you know, the Y2K scare where they said all the computers oh, were yeah. going to crash right, right. on 2000 yet because the date situation. Yeah. Um, So I used a local travel agency to, to get our How trip to Disney. How did I not know Disney. that? And they gave us our money back for the two days. Wow. Yeah, sure did. I, yeah. I, I, w I had nothing to do with that trip. <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> Well, that's okay because we got there and we got back and we had a good time. Yeah, we did. It we was had a good fun. time. It was um, fun. But I was going to say that while we were there, you know, before at the wedding, everything, my daddy was fine. Oh, yes. So while we're there, um, of course, call my parents, you know, every day to check in and make sure everything was okay. I get on the phone with my daddy and he is telling me something about Elvis. Do you remember that? Mm hmm. He's talking about Elvis on the phone. And I was, I was, you know, I couldn't understand it. I was like, what is he talking about? Well, my mama got back on the phone and she was like, yeah, it's okay, bro. We'll talk about it when you get home. Mm -hmm. It's no worries. I hope y'all have a wonderful time. Da, da, da. And, and it never occurred to me that he was at the end days at that point. Yeah. As, as soon as we got married, that was it. He, it he, went. Just like this. Yeah, he was holding on for that day. And once that day happened, and it just, that just, it just shows you how strong the human spirit is. Oh, I mean, it shows you that when you give up and oh, yeah. when you stop fighting, it yeah. is, it is no longer. It just, that was an eye opening thing for us. It really was. So we got back home and mm -hmm. literally, I mean, it was a different person than when we left. Yeah, totally different person. I'd moved out of the house for the first time in my life because obviously I was married and moved in with mm -hmm. Jason and. Um, there were numerous times that my mama had to call us in the middle of the night because he had gotten up and gotten dressed and said he was going to work in the mm -hmm. middle of the night. And, you know, it was just things that just, just, they had done a complete 360. Yeah. Yeah. He really had. So June the 3rd was our wedding day and my daddy passed away August the 13th. Mm -hmm. It was that fast. It was pretty fast. I saw somebody else say that their anniversary was June the 3rd. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, it was a great day. It was a great day. The weather was beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, yes, Brooke's dad did walk her down the aisle. Yes, yep, yep. he did. Yep. He did. He was, I mean, besides his color being yellow, he was he was fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, we knew that things were not going good, but mm -hmm. he was he was good. Yep. Dee Dee has not moved. And she hasn't barked. Well, the dogs have been quite quiet, I must say. You better be quiet. I know. I know. Yeah. I better be quiet. Didi acts like she is wore out. Usually she's kind of alert. She's looking around and trying to figure out what's going on. But hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I saw, I wanted to say thank you for Miss Karen. Miss Karen gave us, um, I don't know what it's called, y'all. So the super thanks chat, super chat, super thanks. And um, they go by so fast. And I know sometimes we don't see them and, but, um, and don't recognize them. But this one I did and I wanted to thank y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. What else have you seen, question wise? Um, I hadn't. I've been trying to look for questions. I haven't seen that many questions, honestly. Or if I, oh, I'm sure there has been some, but I haven't seen them. Well, that's okay because 
dinners. I was going to mm-hmm. say, you know, I always ask what's for dinner yeah. on Tuesday. I always I, ask what's for dinner, but I'm going to tell y'all, I am taking the night off. Taking the night off. I'm taking the night off, and I informed my family of this at lunch. <laughs> I had, um, I had, we were, Jason oh, and I went man. to town. Me Carl chose to stay here, do her schoolwork. Yep. Fine by me. Uh, Jason and I are in town, and we stayed a little bit longer than what we thought. Yep. So I look at my watch, and it's 1130. Hmm, let's check in with Main Street. Let's see what they have today. And Main Street's our meeting three. Main Street Cafe is a little hometown restaurant. Like dead center of downtown Clanton. It's been a minute since we've been there because we've just, well, we just had a lot going on. We did. Um, and I honestly hadn't felt like going to eat lunch out. Yep. Um, but we're in town. So guess what? I look at the menu. That's always the first thing mm-hmm. that happens before we decide to go. No matter what they have on the menu, it's going to be good. There's something there we can eat. Yes. Yeah, How many absolutely. vegetables do they offer every day? <sighs> ten, in, probably? In between seven to ten. And, eat, a, and a salad bar. Yeah. So you choose um, three vegetables yep. and a meat, or yep. you can choose four vegetables. Yep. Well, I get this phone, and I look on it, and I see the menu, and y'all are not going to believe what they have. And some of you are going to say, yuck, and some of you are going to say, I hadn't had you that got, in a you minute. Listen, you got to say it right. Oh, I'm going to let you say it. Salmon. Salmon patties. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an L in it. Salmon patties. Salmon. <laughs> salmon croquettes. Salmon. They called it patties. They didn't call it croquettes. I know because they were, you know, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to, you know, act like I'm intelligent. Oh, you keep know. acting, baby. Salmon croquettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my oh, gracious. I, uh-huh. I told Jason, I said, maybe we all just go on home. Yeah. And he was like, well, whatever you want to do, we'll go if you want to. So we decided to go. And I'm going to tell y'all, I it's been a minute since it, I cooked a salmon patty. It has been, I had had salmon croquettes, <laughs> croquettes. in a long time. So Miss Miss Deborah, she's our favorite waitress yeah. down there, and um, and so she brings her plates, and I t- I'm, I'm telling Jason, I said, you think they got any syrup? <laughs> and he said, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she'll bring us some syrup. Yeah. Well, this place sells breakfast too. Yeah. So you know, people put syrup on their pancakes. <laughs> But I had already eyed the syrup. It was up on the bar. <laughs> you already saw it. I already saw it. So Miss Deborah brought her plate, and mm. she's always so kind to say, "Is there anything else I can get y'all?" I said, "Yes, ma'am. We need some syrup." <laughs> some syrup. Um, and I wonder if that's a regional thing too. Is adding syrup? I, know, I always say syrup. You know, <laughs> that's how we say it. But to to uh to their salmon croquettes. She asked, "Did we want the golden label or the regular?" Regular. And and honestly, I didn't. I didn't know what to say. The golden label is the Alabama Lighter brand yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But we got the regular shirt. Put it on our salmon patties, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good lunch for sure. Oh, it was really, really good. It hit the spot. It did, and it had strawberry shortcake. And we brought me a crawl plate home, of course. And usually, usually she doesn't eat the dessert. Yeah. I know that's hard for y'all to believe. But usually she doesn't eat the dessert. But mm-hmm. I'm going to tell y'all, I left her her plate while I went and took care of a few things around here. And I came back and she was still finishing up and she ate every bit of her strawberry shortcake every, along with her meal. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. I cannot believe it. Now, you know, the salmon patties, yeah. the salmon croquettes, mm-hmm. I'm sure they're fried. Oh, I'm sure. We <laughs> try to not eat much, you know, fried food. That's right. That's right. But this today was an exception. Yesterday was the ice cream exception. Mm-hmm. Today was the salmon patty exception. But they had something on their menu that enticed me, and yes. that was fried squash and onions. Uh-huh. And I, I've never had that there, and I, I honestly didn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. But I've had plenty of fried squash. I've fried plenty of squash. But it was, y'all, it was like an onion in with the squash. Mm-hmm. And it was fantastic. 
It made me want to add an onion to my squash. That's what you told me. I had a bite. It was great. It was really, 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 really good. I'm reading the comments about the syrup. I think it's very, very regional. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't. I, <laughs> listen, it sounds crazy. Trust me, I get it. And that's why I wanted to say it, because it does sound crazy. <laughs> it absolutely does. I, but most meat and threes around here will give you syrup <laughs> with your salmon croquettes. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I have no idea where that came from. I, I saw that, um, our Brown farmhouse, uh, they said that they use molasses and butter with their mm -hmm. salmon patty. Yes. Huh. But, um, you know, I don't know. I don't, I have no, I, it does sound crazy. I absolutely agree with that. <laughs> I tell does. you since, <laughs> since I have been involved in the cog kill farm YouTube, which has not been the entire time. Yeah. Um, my mind has opened up to realize there's more to the world than Alabama. Oh, absolutely. Um, you, you before before you see people from all over the world, mm -hmm. you don't realize how region specific certain things oh, are. Oh, that's why I wanted to say this cuz I'm I'm seeing all kinds of answers on this. I've seen gross a lot of times. I mean, I'm I've seen different types of vinegar, I see lemon, I see there's uh, somebody says maple syrup. I've seen maple syrup come up several times too well i'm gonna tell y'all it brought back some memories because that's something we used to have when i was a kid a mm -hmm. lot and i can remember when mary carl was younger mm -hmm. i cooked that a few times and i told you i said the last time i cooked and i'm gonna say salmon patties uh -huh. the electricity went off and we were at little cog yep and i can remember we had a gas stove i had some canned salmon and that's what we had because yep, yep. I could cook it. Right, right. But um, I bet you didn't remember that was the last time I cooked it. I, I didn't remember. I didn't remember. It's it's so good. I've seen a lot of ketchup. Ketchup. I like ketchup too. With with yeah. Uh -huh. I, I can I can I can do ketchup or syrup. Either one. Hmm. Either either one I can do. Well, needless to say, we didn't bring Mary Carl any salmon patties. I bet tartar back. sauce. I see tartar sauce. I bet tartar sauce would be good. Somebody said canned salmon. Listen, we're in Alabama. There is no salmon around here <laughs> no. whatsoever. Catfish now. If you want fresh catfish now, we can do some fresh catfish. We can do catfish all day long. <laughs> all day long. But no. Zero. I'm not even going to try to say it. <laughs> Zero around But my here. lunch was fantastic. And that's why we make the croquettes, yes. which is basically, it's like a, just. A, a patty. It's like a pancake. But, you know, it's got onions and egg onions, and maybe it's got some breadcrumbs breading. or some, yep. yeah, some, yep. some, something to make the crust on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's made all different ways. Google it. Salmon croquettes. Yep. Yep. Or salmon croquettes, whatever you want to say. That's right. It's stale. It's silent. You know, I, I went down a rabbit hole on the whole L being silent in salmon. And it derives from several different regions. But the original is, and I forget which, it, it splits up. But the original saying the L was not silent from, from the history that I got in it. I don't know how I got in that rabbit hole. I guess because, you know, I was like, why is the L silent in it to start with? And yeah, it's crazy. Well, I bet you 10 out of 10 Alabamians say salmon. Oh, a lot of them have the L's not silent. And it, it, it's not that we're not educated. It's just that's how you were brought up. <laughs> that's how my mama said it. That's my, how my oh, mom said it. Yeah. How am I going to say salmon when my mom says salmon? It is. It is very, very. It's, you're right. You're I absolutely mean, right. It's just a, it's just a culture <laughs> thing. You're just repetition. It's, it's not education. Oh, thing. Man. oh it, is, it is. It absolutely is. And that's what makes us all different and great. Yeah, that's right absolutely well i'm glad we talked about that because what are y'all having for dinner yep it's taco tuesday i know that we get a lot of people saying they're having tacos somebody tuesday. said the ale's not silent in georgia as well <laughs> it's just so funny i get so tickled oh, I mean, it's goodness. just funny to me <laughs> we're probably gonna get some hate mail for pronouncing things wrong but oh it's okay you know what we don't worry about we don't such care. things <laughs> If that's all you got to do with your time, <laughs> oh, I mean, it don't bother bring us. it on. It don't bother us. Bring it, yep, right? That's right. We just laugh and carry on. So, 
Oh, Detroit pizza. Detroit pizza sounds great. Oh, it does. I've yeah. been craving pizza for a while. Another pizza. I told you. We're not having dinner tonight. I know. I know. I, know. <laughs> I told the lady at the checkout. I, she said, was everything good? I said, yep. yes, ma'am. I said, so good that I don't have to cook dinner tonight. That's right. She said, that white bread is going to be good, isn't it? <laughs> Meaning a sandwich. Meaning a sandwich. That's right. Absolutely. Well, y'all. Brought back some memories again today. We did. Hope y'all enjoyed today's Hope you live. Enjoyed. We could sit here another few hours, but got a video to edit. Yeah, yep. we were, we've been we've had a long long day, and y'all stay tuned for tomorrow's video. To show you how long our day was. You know, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Today is following Jason and Brooke. That's tomorrow's video. That's right. That's right. That is that is exactly what it is. I told Brooke. I said we got a lot of things to do today. We got run a bunch of errands and stuff and that you know what i'm just gonna carry y'all along with us but y'all didn't get to see the salmon we ate at lunch <laughs> we didn't right. video that part we should have <laughs> oh i wish um, we had a picture of it you know what i think that their <laughs> facebook page had a picture of it today did it really yes and i'm going to show y'all what it looked like because there's some people that have probably never here i am typing salmon instead of main street in that in that what that is Oh, that's a piece of chicken. Oh, that's fried it? chicken, girl. I'm sorry, y'all. That was a piece of fried chicken. That's fried chicken. Oh, well. I didn't have my glasses on when I looked. No, you did not. Earlier. It's you not did on not. There. You did not. Anyway, that looks good, don't it? That did look good. I could. Probably... I haven't had their fried chicken. You haven't? I haven't. I, but I, I like dark meat. And so almost every time their fried chicken is always white meat. The lady beside us ordered fried chicken. I did, did notice that. Hmm. Well, guys, hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll and be back Saturday, and then we'll have videos in between. That's right. Y'all be good.